around, you know exactly what they want, which was like, like mind blowing for us. Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Ben is off playing with the baby while I record this video for you guys. I'm going to be recording a handful of videos of things that we wish we knew before jumping into parenthood. And this first one we found was probably one of the most important videos. And it's all about learning what your baby is crying about. So. I was in, or I still am, I'm in this um, pregnancy group on social media and someone posted this link about the five specific cries that babies make and what they're asking for. And it's like universal cry for all babies, it doesn't matter their culture or their background, their, the language that they're coming from, they all make the same noises or sounds in their cries that says, this is what I want. So I'm gonna walk you guys through those. So the person that came up with this like baby language or did all this research to figure it out, her name is Priscilla Dunstan and she's a woman that was in this link that I watched. Um, the only thing was when, we, when I watched this video, our son was already two months old and we were like, whoa, like we wish we knew this. I'm looking this way because Ben's over here playing with the baby. <laughs> we wish we knew this from the start because it would have been so helpful. You know, when you have a, a newborn baby, you start learning their language and you're like, okay, I know they're crying because I think they're hungry and they're crying, let's check their diaper, you know, and you kind of do all the things to check and, and see what's going on. But with these sounds, you know exactly what they want, which was like, like mind blowing for us and we wish we knew it from the get-go and we want all of you guys to know so it makes your uh, first days as a parent that much easier. The only thing is it only is applicable for newborns kind of zero to three months of age because I guess their language starts to change around three months which is what we're learning right now because our son is almost four months and this past month his language has definitely been changing and you can tell it's because he's starting to use his vocal cords and talk more and things like that. So his language is definitely changing. Anyways, let's go through those sounds so you guys can hear it and use it with your babies. Okay, so the first one is the sound nay. Nay. So this means that they're hungry, which is really interesting because they're making that sound because they're doing the suckling reflex, which is then hitting the tongue above the roof of their mouth, making that neigh sound. So you would say neigh, your tongue is hitting the roof of your mouth. Here's what it sounds like. about the nay one that one I mean they're all really helpful but that one we found super helpful because then we definitely knew like oh he needs milk like he doesn't just need to be comforted he, he wants milk because he would go nay nay we like we would listen for it and he would like nay and we're like oh my gosh this is so cool he's telling us he's hungry <laughs> give him his nay nay so now we joke <laughs> and we say all right you want that nay nay and that one he still does even though he doesn't have the language of all the other ones he's still still does the name. All right, so the second one, it means that they're sleepy, and that one is sounds like, ow, oh, ow, oh, and it's almost like they're yawning, but they're crying when they're, they're doing it. So here's what that one sounds like. Okay, so the third one is heh. It's like H E H, so it has like a ha, 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 ha sound, and this means discomfort. So that could mean a various things. A lot of times, it's going to mean that they want their diaper changed because they're uncomfortable with a wet or dirty diaper. For us, our son had a lot of congestion, so this sound happened a lot when he was really congested and had a harder time breathing and needed us to. Um, 
suck or blow his nose with the nasal aspirator. And that one was helpful once we knew that because um, it wasn't, we didn't always know when he needed the congestion to come out because um, sometimes it may not have been as obvious as you would think. So let's hear what that one sounds like. Okay, so the fourth one means they have a gas or discomfort in their abdomen um, and it sounds like air, air, air. It's like E-A-I-R, air. And this one, you might have picked up on this already, which was one that we had already picked up on before learning this language, <laughs> this different language. Um, because they usually like will pull their legs up or just like they'll show like grunting or discomfort that they have gas pains in their lower stomach. Um, our son suffered from a lot of gas pain um, during those newborn days and once we knew the sound it was extra helpful so we could like quickly address um, his stomach pains and there's various things you can do like um, tummy massages I felt like was the best thing that would help him with relieving that. Um, so let's hear what that one sounds like. Okay, so the fifth and final one, this one means that they need to be burnt. And it sounds like eh, eh. It's H, so eh, eh, eh. And where that sound comes from is when they have an air bubble stuck in their upper chest and they're trying to get it out. So they're going eh, 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 and they're trying to get that burp out. So this was another one. I mean, again, they're all really helpful, but this one, he still uses this one too, uh, was helpful because there might be times where I was trying to burp him and no burp would come out. So I would think, oh, he doesn't have a burp. But once I learned this and I kept hearing him say, eh, 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 I knew he was still trying to get a burp out so I would still continue to help him instead of him crying and me not knowing what's going on because I thought, oh, you don't have a burp, you're crying about something else, when really just the burp hasn't come out yet. So uh, let's listen to that one. Those are the five different universal cries for babies that was so helpful for us, still helpful for us as he still does some of them to this day at four months old. And I hope that you guys find this really helpful um, and just makes your like start to parenthood or even if it's your second child or, or fourth child. Hope it helps you to make your days that much easier and just helping soothe your baby that much better. All right, I or we will see you guys next time. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Ashley and I am by myself. <laughs> Hi baby, I love you. I love you. Oh, yay. <laughs>